Hey, Game Gears. Yes, tis I, Mike Martins, your handheld junkie. Well, today, well, last couple of weeks, I've been tinkering around with the Game Gear. And if you see, this thing's in mint condition. Why? Because I replaced the screen and I resoldered new capacitors. I honestly thought making or soldering capacitors in this was going to be like uh, an Event Horizon Doomsday uh, episode of me screwing up royally. But I'm going to show you guys today. It's not as hard as it is. I watched a few videos. I kind of doubted myself. I watched a few more videos. I still doubted myself until I did it with my own, my own hands and realized how easy and straightforward it really is. All you need to know is the numbers on the capacitors and uh, transcribing them to the ones you have on your game gear. So I'm going to show you guys what to do and how to do this very easily. I've never soldered in my life until I soldered capacitors on this Game Gear. And this thing didn't even turn on when I bought it. I bought several broken Game Gears. And this thing never turned on when I bought it. And I was in the sound. Turn it up here. Oh yeah, so I got it working. So I received the Game Gear in like this, believe it or not. It came in a, in a bag. And it came like this. So we're going to slowly take this apart and figure out if it's missing anything. And then here's the other half. I found most of the screws for it. So we're going to kind of piecemeal it to the side and kind of, I'm going to move my keyboard out of the way here. Just so you guys know, it's really not that hard to do this. You need about three square feet of space. So I'm going to break down what you need to do this job. So we got that right there, right? I got a brand new screen I got for it. Okay, I always change the screens when I'm already doing this, might as well. I got the two battery doors came with it. I have the capacitors that I bought for $5.80 or $6, I think it was. And that's for my solder. Okay, this is the old screen from the other Game Gear that I, I uh, you can tell it's pretty scuffed up. This is from the other one that's sitting there. I picked myself up a magnifying glass so I could read the capacitors because they're so small. And here's my solder, nice and soft, nice and wiggly. And one of my screwdrivers there. So let's let's break this down real quick. Okay, guys, this is what you're going to need for this project. If you want to replace the capacitors, let's do this. Capacitor kit, screen, might as well switch your screen out. It's easy to do. I can show you how to do it. And good screwdriver set, solder, soldering iron, one cotton bud with your rubbing alcohol to clean, and a diagram if you want to open up to actually match up the capacitors to make sure that you've got the right voltages set up with the damaged capacitors. So anyways, let's take a look at this and break her down. All right, folks, let's get started here. I'm going to try and adjust the camera to the best of my capacity. You get a capacity capacitor to the best of my capacity so you guys can understand what it is going that's going on here. So I'm going to dump the screws out here that you saw. I, I, received, I received it into pieces. So this game gear is a total basket case, okay? So I'm going to let you guys know just up front, this here, I just cut this off right here. I had a really hard time putting in these sound capacitors to make the sound work. So I cut this off and it works fine. I don't, I don't know what the importance of that is. Probably find out later down in life, but right now I didn't need that. So let's make sure there's no more screws or any things floating around there. There it is there. So there's your power right there. This is your power. And then this right here is your sound. So this does, I've never even turned this on and I'm not going to even attempt to turn this on because I really don't care. I'm just gonna change the capacitors and see if I can get it to work. Uh, okay, so we're gonna take this board apart. Oh, there's a there's the gold screw I was missing right there. There she is, I was missing one. Okay, maybe I was missing two. Okay, maybe I was missing three. 
Well, there they go. See, this is non-scripted, guys. So you're seeing it as you would basically if you were to buy this on your own. If you were to buy this sp specific game gear that was badly advertised because it didn't look like this when I bought it. It looked like it was assembled and it said it wasn't working. But all right, first thing we need to do is take the rest of the screws off this board. So when you when you unplug your power and your sound and stuff, you just unplug it from the other side of the board. Okay, don't make the mistake and pull it from the, this side. Do not pull anything off of this side because you're going to have uh, a huge issue on your hands. All right, so let me take this last screw off here. So I'm going to take my time with this, guys, because I really want you guys... All right, this is not the right screwdriver. These, these screws look stripped, so I, I used to usually use a flathead in here when the, when the screws look like they're stripped. So it looks like somebody got into this already, guys. It looks like they cross-threaded a screw here. It's amateurs, right? Well, you won't be amateurs if I show you what to do, because I can't believe I got that damn thing working. And I did a good job cleaning up those, cleaning out that board and, and replacing them capacitors. All right, last screw, put her down here. All right, this should be no more. Ah, there's, no, nope, that should be it. So you're going to take it out like this and then pull the the thing to the side here. The audio, there's the audio cable is going to fall apart. There's your screen right here. So avoid touching those gold contacts. You'll see the gold contacts everywhere. <sighs> I got a clean surface there, my transformers mat. Now, this fell apart, this fell apart. Don't forget to put these aside, guys. And this two, and you should have three rubber pieces. Yeah, they're all here. And you should have the three buttons that fall out. There they are. And they're dummy proofed, so you can't mix them up. Here's your shell case. There's your speaker. So if your speaker, if you notice that your power, your audio doesn't work, even after changing your capacitors, you might need to change the speaker. I wonder if they upgraded this to a stereo. I don't think they did because the, the games wouldn't be uh, in stereo. So we'll put that aside for now. And we got, this is how you later, when you want to change the screen, you just do this. Look. Nice and easy. And you pop the glass right out. See that? That's how you do that. See? Right here. Just like that. You pop it out. But this, we're going to do that later. Got a brand new screen we're going to install. I, paid, I think it was $5. I bought five of them. All right. Here's your sound here. Woo, 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 woo. Okay. So this this screen, it looks like from the screen itself, is the heat. You see the heat marks on it. But the board doesn't look bad at all. Okay. So we're going to start... Like, let's take a look at these capacitors. Look at that. You see that right there, guys? That's even leaking into the microchip here. There's a microchip there. And this one, luckily, leaked off to, to this side. So we're going to clean this and make sure these contacts here aren't fried. Then we're going to replace these two. These are really bad capacitors. These are, like, the worst capacitors you could ever put on anything electronic. And I don't know why Sega did that. Even though Sega was, was oh, the board is dirty. We got a lot of a little bit of resin on the board here, guys. Right there. I'm not sure if that's uh if that's it's it's not from that. No, it's not. I don't think it's from the screen. No. What's this on this side? There's nothing coming from that side, so it just looks like it's really dirty. It might be so what we're gonna do, guys, you find little it doesn't smell like anything either. So we're gonna get our rubbing alcohol and our cotton bud here. We're just gonna give that a wipe down just to just to clean it up. It could be like somebody could have spilled on it, spilled something on it years ago. Yeah, see the bud's dirty. So there's a bit of bit of a bit of a mess here. So let's clean this up. Okay, let's clean her up. So I'm just wiping her down just like so, bringing it back to its. Uh, Factory, yeah, that's pretty bad. I just hope, I hope we didn't, I hope we don't have a bad, bad uh, unit here, like burnt out. There it is there. Look at the cotton bud, guys. That's pretty intense. Okay. The other side's very clean. Remember, this could have gotten dirty when it was taken apart itself. Because when the person took this thing apart, um, they could have just dirtied it, right? Or just been eating chocolate or something while... Because that's what it looks like it is to me. Don't think it's poop. I'm just going to wipe it down a little bit more here on the board. Just, just, this. oh, there's still more blackness coming up. Here it is, here, guys. On the other, on the other side there. 
Hey. All right, here we go. So, cleaned it off, nice and dry. There's no more, um, like muck or anything uh, anywhere. <laughs> I will blow the screen off there. The screen. This is a clean little work area I got here. So let's put this back down. So I think we find we. I think we have found our culprit anyway. It's right here. It's these two capacitors are completely melted. Everything else looks like it's intact, but I'm gonna replace a few of them for you guys anyways. And throw some batteries. That one looks intact too. Wow. But they're garbage though. Let's take a look at the sound capacitors. So we'll take this apart. I'll show you how to take this apart to, to replace. I replaced all these already. And I had not, a, not I, the only problem I had was when I replaced this capacitor back here. I realized that this shielding was in the way and I said, screw it. I don't need that shielding. If, if, if it doesn't work because of that, then oh well, it's my loss, right? But it worked and it worked good. All right, so let's do this. So this is what I usually do when I take these things apart. Um, now, first things first, I want to make sure I have the capacitor. So let's take a look at it. I'm going to get my magnifying glass because I can't even see that. So it's 16. So it should be 16 uh, um, or 6.3. But okay, no big deal. See, now what I'm going to do here, I'll show you what, what I'm going to do. I'm going to go to here. Oh, for first things first, let's go back to basics, okay, guys? Let's just go right back to basics. There is your motherboard number right here. 8379024. And gave me the capacitor frequencies and everything there. It's easy to find. All you have to do on Google is just type in motherboard number, and it'll, it'll bring you to a page like that. And then, so now, I'm going to do it the easy way. I'm going to cheat. C11. C11. I'm going to go on my thing here. C11 will be C11 will be cap E chip 10 fairings I think it is 6.3 volts. So, we're going to go to these guys here. And we're going to find one for 6.3 volts. I'm going to have to use my magnifying glass. Sorry guys, because the writing on that is is absolutely minute. So you see it's all written here. Every every capacitor has its own number, and then when you go here, it actually tells you it's a capacitor. So C11 would be here, 6.3 volts. So I'm going to go through this guy here. So I'm going to take my time and find it. All right, I got them right here. I found them. They were hiding on me, but I got them. So we're going to, these two are the same, uno y dos, one and two right here are the exact same. And these ones are pretty bad. This one's in pretty bad condition right here. Look at that. So I'm going to show you guys how I remove these problem free, just absolutely problem free. I get a pair of, you could use side cutters, but I, I prefer to use these needle, needle nose pliers. And obviously the, the connection you see is to the right here. See right there. You want to grab to the left of it so you could lift it. Oh, this one, this one's on there. Can you hear it? There, it's lifting. See how I lifted it and still connected? Because I pulled it opposite of its connection. Luckily, the battery acid or the acid from the capacitor came along with it and didn't stick to that microchip. So we might have a decent board here. So here she is. Boom. Goodbye. There's the capacitor right there. And that's, oops, that's in pretty bad shape. Guys, when you get these things, throw them right out. Do not keep them lying around because a dog could pick that up and eat it, even a child, and that is corrosively horrible. So I'm just going to throw that right in my garbage can. All right, we're going to pull off the second capacitor right now as we speak. Here it is. So we're going to take a look at where the connection is. Is right there. I see the connection. So I'm going to pull from the back here. Do a little lift, just like so. Look at that lift, guys. Look at that. That's a nice lift, and it came with the corrosive area with it, too. So the corrosive area did come with it. So I'm going to just twist it, just like so. Look, just twist. Twist again, like we did last summer. Just like so. See that? Capacitor, goodbye. So right in the garbage can. I don't want any anything or pets or anything picking it up. Now you got a little bit little bit of legs sticking out here. So I'm going to show you what to do with the legs. You're just going to put your soldering iron on there. But before we do that, I'm going to clean this puppy up a little bit. I'm going to get myself a new cotton bud because this is pretty 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 danky. Hold on a sec. All right. So got the cotton buds. 
Let's just wipe down these areas with rubbing alcohol. That's why they call it rubbing alcohol, because you're rubbing it. So let's go to our, there's lots of, um, so we're, I'm going to be just doing this like this. I have a micro scraper just to scrape that. Let's go to the other side. I'm avoiding try to touching the screen on the other side. This one's got a bit of, uh, yeah, this one's got quite a bit of, uh, corrosion on it. Not all of it lifted when, um. I'm going to blow that there real quick. All right, so I'm going to scrape this buddy down here. It's a little bit dirty, but just be careful when scraping it that you don't scrape any of the co the connections or any of the soldered uh, areas there. Other soldered areas, sorry, microchips or anything. But this one's really bad. This one really, really did a number on it. This one's pretty bad here too. So I'm gonna scrape this. Oh, this one came right off like a like really nicely here. So I'm gonna try and scrape this off. Now this one's really corrosively in there. You see the little leg sticking out there? See it right there? You should be able to, let me see if you, right there. There's a little leg right there, there it is. See, behind, in front of my screen. I'm gonna take those off for you guys, show you guys how to do it properly. You could, you could scrape them off, but it's better to solder them off to get the solder fresh to apply. But here, we did everything we could here without damaging anything here or, uh, you know. Okay, we're going to do this then. Um, I got the two, the two um, capacitors here. Remember this, guys. Always don't make this mistake, please. This is a noob mistake and you're not a noob. You see that line? That line means negative. So... Your motherboard is going to come already pre preloaded to tell you which side is negative, right? So this side here is positive, right? You could barely see it only because of the amount of corrosion on there. And this side here is positive. There's a positive. See there right there by the A? There's a little plus sign, and that's positive. So this one here, it's going to be obviously by the capacitor number, if you're not sure. Look at the capacitor number, and you shall see right there. Okay, guys, I got the soldering iron warming up. I'm going to show you. You could do this in an hour or two hours, depending. My first job, the first one that I did, I, I usually put in one or two capacitors at a time. And that's what I did. So then turn it on and put it back together just to make sure. So you want to give it a little bit of leeway here. You want to give it a little bit of slack here, a little bit of lash. You want to cut it about right there. Right there. Cut them right there. Again, throw these things out. Last thing you want is something or someone picking this or getting this stuck in their foot in your house. Throw these things out. Now, depending which way the plus, so the plus is on this side here, right? We've already differentiated that the plus is on this side. You can barely see it, but there's a plus there. It's, it's corroded, but I could see it, guys. So now what I want to do, the plus is obviously the non-negative side. And I want to lay the capacitor on just like, where did that roll off to? Here it is. I want to lay it right here, guys. That's plus. The negative is going to come towards me. And I want to lay it right there. I'm going to show you guys how I do this because it's really not that hard. Next step is you're going to bend the pin into position just like so. I like to open her up a little bit like so because there's a little bit of a delta in between this. So that's that should do it right there. And now I'm going to throw this just like so. Pow. Do you see what I just did? Like that. And... Pow, just like that. You see that? Then I'm going to curl it a bit more. Just like so. And I'm going to curl it just a bit more. 
just like so. Then the negative is going to be facing me. Okay, and it's going to go, she's going to go right, boom, she's already sitting in there nice. Make sure, guys, I'm going to get the camera to, to zoom. You see there, you see right there, guys? Make sure that you could get the feet to stick in where the old capacitor used to sit. Okay, and just get it to sit there like this, like, like so, see? So you're going to lay it over there, okay? Okay, guys, so I'm, I got my solder here. Ta -ta. I'm not going to use my solder yet. I'm going to show you guys this little trick I saw in one video one guy was doing. So it should be hot. I didn't, I didn't touch it. I'm not touching my soldering iron, but I think it's hot. What you do, what I usually do is this. I would go in here and actually just touch the uh, old solder like so. And what I'm trying to do is trying to pick up the old uh legs that are here this one has an old leg on it still there she goes this one here you got to be careful you don't get it into that microchip over there really careful so the solder still looks like it's still good on this but we're going to add some fresh solder in there anyway there's a little leg oh there it is there i'm going to wipe it here on my spongy thingy and let's go to the other side do the same thing just like so, the two exact same capacitors, so don't worry guys, don't be panic. So I'm gonna go on here, I'm gonna see if I can get this camera to, camera to properly, here we go. We're gonna throw this in here, just like so, just like so. This one has a little leg in it, there it goes, there's the leg. So I'm just going to wipe it and roll it here. This one here, there's a little leg here. I see it here. Got it. There we go. It's very easy. It just comes to the surface. Okay. So now let's get back to... It feels like there's orange juice of some sorts or some sort of a citrus thingy going on here okay so we got our capacitor ready here to go so i'm going to show you what i'm going to do here so now i'm going to drop some fresh solder which is really easy i was really scared to do this part because i thought i was going to screw this up and i didn't this one is kind of iffy because look at that microchip right there the legs are right by where that capacitor is going to sit so i'm going to put some fresh solder here just like so Just like so. A little bit of fresh solder here. There you go. A little bit of fresh solder here. Because we removed the legs, so we got a little bit of room to work in there now. There you go. I got my little. Okay, now we're gonna go back to square one here. And we're gonna sit the capacitor down. Negative is gonna be facing me. Guys, don't forget your negative there. See that stripe? There's a stripe there. Let me just put this soldering iron away so you guys can see what I'm talking about. Okay, guys, this is crucial because you don't wanna you don't wanna screw this up, right? But there, right there, there's a little line going through it. I'm trying to get the camera. There it is there. See that line? Keep that always opposite of the positive side, which is on the on the left on this one, on my left, um, or the upper one, right? So I'm going to keep the negative facing me. So we do this right. So you're just going to place it up top. You could use uh, your needle nose pliers to hold it in place. I don't need to. Okay, let me do it with the needle nose pliers just so that I could, you could guys could see tram more transparently through because you can't see through my hand. So I got her here. Watch, I'm going to even do it like this crooked, not even proper, just so you could get a good angle on it, right? Just angle it off like that. We're going to drop it in just like so. Make sure the negative is facing me. I'm always making sure of that because it's so easy to make that mistake, guys, because, you know, we're humans and that's what we do is make mistakes. So... Just 
set it up like this. Try to be as still as possible. Oh, 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 I had it in there too, and it just... See, you see where it, what I'm working with here. I gotta keep it off of that one that's really right on top of it. But I got it. I got the one side, and it's not that hard to do. I'm making it look hard, but it's not, guys. It really isn't. And now I'm going to twist this one in a bit. So I'm going to twist this capacitor in. The leg in just a bit, just like so. And I'm going to... Throw this in. I'm going to press it down here with the... Uh... There we go. There we go. Done. There it is. You could always adjust a bit with extra solder if you need it. This is like... I'm going to get the camera to focus properly here for you guys to see what my problem is with this specific one. Come on, camera. So I'll show you here. I'm not getting a, it's not cooperating the camera. So here is really close to the, uh, that little microchip there. It's like right on it. So I had to be really careful with the solder. It did have some corrosion on it. So there she is. She's sitting in there nice. She ain't going nowhere, nice and tight. And I made sure the negative was facing me here. And we're going to go to the next capacitor. All right, just like so. I already cleaned it up. I already took out the legs. I already added some solder. And we're going to cut our capacitor. The negative is on this one. You could see it easily. There's the positive on the left. You could see it from the camera, actually. Right there, to the left, there's the positive. So we want to run the negative to the right side. So if we're doing it to the right side, you're going to obviously take the negative this way and the positive is going to lay positively. So we're going to cut it about right here like we did the other one. That might be a little bit too much slack on it, but that's okay. We're going to take our needle nose pliers. We're going to bend it down. And bend it down. Because you got to bend it on the side of the positive or negative uh, displacement, right? These are like ceramic high density capacitors I got from Japan. So I won't have to ever change these capacitors again. So negative is gonna to go to my right and to the left. So it's gonna sit just like that, see? Very easy to do. So I'm gonna go here. I'm gonna lay the capacitor down just like so. I already got some solder on there. Shouldn't be hard to, to do this one. There's no, there is a microchip slightly close by but it might not be too much of a problem. So let's get our soldering iron out. So I'm gonna kind of put it this way so I could actually see it. This way I could use my even use my hand with it. So no matter what, even if it flies off, I know which side negative is because I know which way the, uh, the capacitor pins are pointed. So it, it always navigates me towards plus and negative regardless. So I'm not too worried if I drop it or something. All right, so just like so, I'm gonna layer on top, just like so. I try my best here to, to do it on one shot. Okay, that side's on. This side, this side, the leg needs to be opened slightly a bit more. Yeah, the leg is, if you look carefully, let me, let me re-solder it and move it a little bit over. So I could easily just tap it and then put it, oops, that's really bad actually. Yeah, so I, I messed that up. I'm going to use the, uh, put that back and we'll put that back just like so. It almost like nothing happened. All right, let's try this again. We're gonna put this capacitor, this little guy here. And the next guy is sitting right on it right now. 
There we go. Yeah, you got both sides on. Let me just quadruple check it here. Bring it close to the camera for you guys to see. So just like so, it was changed, see? Right there, both sides are in. That one was easy to put in. And I'm just tapping the camera guys here to see if I can get it to... So just like so, you could see, it's in there, see? One and two. Positive, negative. Just like so. And it's flush with this, so it's not sticking out. It won't be touching anything. So we got two capacitors replaced. Now we're going to move to this guy here. He doesn't look like he's leaking. This little guy here does not look like he's leaking. He is number C1. He's number one. And he's another 6.3. Yeah, he's another 6.3. So these two are the same. So I guess this one works off the same. And let me pause it. I'll be right back. Okay, we got two capacitors hiding up here, guys. I just found these two little guys here. And they're the same ones that we just replaced. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, chop these up. Go ahead and fast forward the video if you want. You don't have to watch the whole thing, but... This is real time, guys. I'm doing this in real time. My kids are playing in the background. I can hear them running around back and forth. So, all right, let's cut one. We're going to cut one here. Just like so. Put the legs over there. And we're going to cut two. Just like so. All right. Now, we're going to pop these off like so so remember guys find out where the tip of the, the solder so the solder starts here right here see here see how the solder's there grab it from the back end it's not hard at all pull it forward and just do a little wiggle wiggle here this capacitor is not in bad shape at all but since we're here might as well change it anyway and you're gonna get better color I noticed the sound is blasting and I noticed, there it is, garbage. So there's a little bit of leakage on it, but very hard to detect. And one more here. Just like, see how we do that? Crunch, crunch, crunch. I'm gonna keep doing this. And goodbye. Garbage. We're gonna go to our soldering, soldering iron now. And we're gonna clean this a little bit of wear here, but that's okay. Uh, the solder is on this. This one, the solder on this one's completely gone. The other one was surprisingly good. This one's got a leg here. Let me pull out the leg here. The old leg. Yeah, the solder's completely obliterated on this. I'm going to actually wipe this down. I'm actually going to give this a wipe down here. Let me get my cotton buds here and my rubbing alcohol. Mm, it's a bit dirty, but not enough to panic anybody here. All right, which way is the positive? Well, positive is sitting on. So you see the positive sitting right there, guys. Of my nail you see that right there so we're gonna go ahead and already wiped it down already cleaned it we're gonna add a, a drip of solder on each little contact there from fresh solder so you could just nail them down like I just did uh, where did I put my solder guys so there's some solder here it's like so you don't need anything fancy like a solder dispenser or anything to do this you just do it the old-fashioned way like this it's the way i saw it being done in comic books I think it was iron man i forgot which iron man i was reading where tony stark created some software uh, hardware sorry for some software company or something and he did this in seconds and i said wow tony you could do that i could do it too and here i am doing it all right so here it is And 
I hate when it sticks up there like a little, uh, nothing I could do about that. I could just tap it a little quick here. There it goes. Tap it down just to, yeah, just like so. So there you go. I got my solder ready to go and I'm going to punch those in. So right now I'm 34 minutes on the, on this little end here. I'm not sure how the entire video is a little bit longer, but all right, let's bend up. Let's bend down some pins. So we got the positive connector to the left here of the bottom one. We're going to do the upper one because we get to get to it easier and then do the harder one first and then leave the easy one for last. So, okay, here we go. So positive is it to the left too. So we're going to find our negative here, which is right here, the little line. And we got to get that in the camera because this is really important, guys. I don't want you guys screwing this all up because of this. This is this stupid step. So there's the line there. I don't know why I can't get it in the camera, but there it is. There's the line. See it? So you're going to put it opposite of the plus. So the plus is to my left. So we're going to bend our pins this way. Almost lost my soldering iron because the thing that came in it, the, came, the thing that holds it is made in China. So it's not really good. So let's uh, bend these pins forward because you're going to have the negative to the right. I'm just double checking my work here. I'm going to open up its little legs here just a little bit more. Bring it down. Like so, see that guys? Bring it down, like so. Bring it more down. There you go. Just like so. Make sure the negatives, the positives to the left here on this one. I'm gonna put her down. I noticed the last one I did, the capacitors were completely different than this one that I'm doing now. I noticed the capacitors, like the locations are a bit different and there's different models right so you got to just keep an eye on which one the motherboard serial number will d direct you to the right one anyway online so you don't have to panic or anything you'll get it it's not that hard this is not hard at all i thought it was going to be a, a flaming disaster flaming crashing burning and disaster i'm gonna i'm gonna use my um needle nose pliers i can't i could barely get my hands in there so i'm just gonna needle nose plier it here just like so I'm going to turn her around I'm going to sit her down just like so right here I got the fresh solder on it anyway negative should be facing me now because I turned the board and I'm going to go ahead and this thing moves that's it okay see how, see how quick I that's there we go Everyone should have been done like that. I don't know why the first one took me so long to do, but I got it. There we go. See? That's it. Nothing, nothing to it. That's what I wanted to show you guys. Just like that. All right. So let's get our other one. So the positive is going to be, uh, again, it's going to go opposite. So positive is going to be the left of me. It's going to be to the left of me. So if it's going to be to the left of me, right, then I'm going to have to turn the negative this way, right? And then I'm going to bend the pin right so. And I'm going to bend the pin right so. Just like that. See, nice clean job. No idea how to do this before, but I'm doing it. See? I did one. Made sure I could do it before I show you guys how actually easy it is to do. Spread these legs apart. And. I'm gonna hold this needle nose pliers again. I'm gonna turn it a bit. So. Can't make sure the negative's to the negative side. Done. That's it. Tony Stark, two seconds. Done. That's it. Got these two. So we got uno, dos, tres, and cuatro done. All right. So we are going to remove these two little guys here. This doesn't take long, guys.
This is actually a nice little walk in the park, actually. After you do it once and you get that feeling of completion when you got it working, you actually want to do more or you want to see if that was a fluke or something. So again, the solder is on the other side. We will lift. Please excuse the dog barking. I don't know why it's a little cheek teacup chihuahua. It's got something to prove all the time. Here it comes. See? Right there. See? Go against the solder. And this one melted down to the uh, board also. Got a little bit of dirt there, but that's not a big deal. We're going to wiggle, wiggle, wiggle a little bit. And she comes off. And both legs came off with this one perfectly. Sometimes they break off and you're going to have to on your own. All right. Mm, I'm just going to clean it up here with a little bit of cotton bud here. All right. Not that bad. All right. There it is right there. And we'll do this one one at a time so I don't... Because it looks like it could go anywhere, right? Looks like you could sit that thing anywhere. So let's just make sure... I don't know why that dog's barking. It never barks, but it's just barking all of a sudden. Sorry about that. So let's find the plus. Plus is on this side. Negative is on that side. So we're going to put it like this, and we're going to cut it here. So this way we have the proper... We're going to give this one a little bit more working room. Oh! She went flying. Okay, I'm going to throw the legs over here. And I'm going to bend this clip over here. Not the falant either. Okay, so I'm going to take the negative one here and move it over. And... I'm going to put the negative opposite again, remember guys? So I'm going to turn this clip this way. So I'm going to stretch out the legs. I'm going to turn the clip in this way. And I'm going to turn this clip in this way. So we got ourselves a nice connection here. Oops, I closed the legs way too much. Like proper design. The table's rough. Table? No, but like this. Look at yeah, because of this. It's not that big. All right, here we go, guys. And wow, this one just bouncing away from me here. Okay, so plus negative. All right, so she's going to sit just like so. All right, so plus negative. She could sit. I could sit her like this, which I'm actually thinking of doing. Opposite of the way she was sitting earlier. You will block the serial number, but um, I already know what the serial number is on this. So then, when I replace this one, it won't be. It it could give a little bit of leg room. I get it, leg room. So it could sit properly. I'm gonna do that one like this. I'm actually gonna do that one like this. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and do it like that. Some fresh solder on there. One, two. I hope it doesn't have a fried screen. I was thinking about that earlier. If the, sc the screen's fried, I might get be in a little bit of trouble. All right, just make sure that sh solder is not making double contact there. I'm just gonna run the soldering iron through the middle. Yeah, just to make sure it's a nice clean right there. All right, we're gonna put the negative on this side. And a positive on the other side. So just like so. I'm going to turn it around so you guys can actually see me install this one again. And I'm going to do this just to show you guys how it's not that hard. The first one, I don't know why it took me a whole three, four minutes to put on. I was actually getting annoyed with it. I was like, what is this? But I got it. Plus, negative...
Okay, I think I got one side. No, I didn't. Yes, I did. It dried after. All right, let me let me bend this baby back just a little bit, just so I could see. I did get it in, and it's in nice and good too. Let me turn the leg in. I turn the leg in just like so. Gotta bend the leg back, guys. I'm gonna have to bend this leg slightly back. Alright, I'm gonna have to bend her in just like so. Okay. You see what I'm doing? I hope you see what I'm doing here. The first leg went in nice and tight, and I kind of want to keep it like that. So I'm going to bend this leg in. There we go. Got it. I just want to make sure this, because I'm doing, putting this one in backwards, so I want to make sure it's not. There we go. Just like that, a little touch of the solder iron. That's it. It's still inside within the parameters. So you want to keep this inside the parameters here. Just like I did this one, you want to keep it inside. So the negative should be on that side. Yep, it is. I did it right. Yeah, hip hip hooray. Now let's pull this guy off here. Yeah, this one here is pretty bad. Again, pretty bad shape. Oh, yeah. The ones I'm putting in are nice. They look stronger. The, the... the ones I'm putting in look a lot more heavy duty than the ones that were in there. All right, what do we got here? All right, let me get some heat on that. Let me get some heat on that thing there. Get this leg taken off. Oops. All right, I got her cleaned up. Let me just uh, cut this up here. All right, let's see which way the positive. Man, I could barely see the connection there. It's a positive right there. I could barely see it on there, on the board. So I'm going to cut her, so I'm going to go opposite negative. So positive, opposite, negative. We're going to go this way. It's going to come that way. It's going to come backwards. So it's going to go this way. So we're going to bend it forward. These are nasty capacitors, man. These are really nasty. So if the plus to the left, negative should be to the right, which they are. Bend. And. Bend. Just like that. Just like that. I want to keep them at uh, the same length so you're easy to solder. 
So she's going to sit right in here. She's going to sit right there. That's actually perfect. I'm going to let it sit like that. All right, I'm going to put some solder. There we go, one and two. Just like so, see? Real time. Now, let's grab this little capacitor here. Damn. Okay. Um, I'm going to do it in a way so I could, could do it easy here. Oh, no. It's going to have to come back the other way. All right. So it's going to have to come this way. No, it's not. I'm doing it wrong now. Uh... There's a dog barking upstairs, guys. I'm sorry about that. It's been barking for like the last three hours. Just for no reason. It's a little chihuahua dog. It's pretty loud sometimes. And sometimes it just... You don't even know it's home. Alright, so... Let me grab this here. This is, I got this, I got shit put the soldering iron done to do this. With, but I could do it with one hand. It's not a big deal. All right, let me adjust it to the way I could do it now. All right, right there, just like that. Just like that. Here you go. One and two, done. There you go. I had to put this one back because there's no way those two are going to fit in there. Look at all the capacitors getting replaced. Look at that. And what do we got left? These three here. So I already got these. I got them with the magnifying glass because they're really hard to see. So let's see if we can get this guy here. All right, I got to get the magnifying glass to read this. Give me a second. Actually, you know what? I'm going to do the 100, the 100 here, the 100 one there. I'm just going to do that one right now. So hopefully the capacitor, oh, it's sitting forward. Okay, that's going to be a tough one to do. That's going to be a really tough one to do if the capacitor, if that's the back end of it. Let's see if we could. Okay, uh, that's going to be a tough one to get into. That's going to be, uh, well, we're going to do it anyway. I'll show you guys it's possible. Everything's possible on these things. Wow, this is a big boy. There she is. Show you guys how this baby's ready to go. All right, yeah. Okay, so there's a huge pile of debris here. I'll keep it away from my screen, but I'm going to wipe the screen down anyway. The front screen here has probably a fingerprint or two already. Yes, it does. But, okay. Oh, we got a little tight spot to work in there. It does look clean, though. It probably didn't even have to be replaced, but... Like I said, once we're here, why not just put on new? The last thing you want to do is 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 have uh, bad capacitors, uh, a weak capacitor working off, you know, other strong ones, and then we can have issues. I don't know. I'm just throwing that out there. I'm paranoid. I want to get it done right once, right? There's a leg in here. There's a big leg in here, actually. There she is. There she is. You see it there? 
big leg. Easy to remove them. You just got to be really... All you have to do is be patient, guys. So let's drop a little bit of... Um, a little bit of juice in there, guys. All right, nice and big. Nice big piece of juice there. There we go. Nice. Look at that. Look at that. One shot. Okay, which way is plus? I can't, I can't see the plus and negative. Yes, I do. Or no, I don't. Is that a plus? Yes, it is. So the plus is to the left side. So we're going to go negative on the capacitor here. So there's the negative side. We're going to go this way. And the plus side is going to be there. It's going to make sure this is the 100 one. Yes, it is. It's like the biggest one of them all, basically. Yeah, it's the biggest one of them all. Let me make sure. No, they're different. That one there is different to the left. This one's the 100 one. That's the 100. That belongs in there. Okay. So let me give it a little bit of leg here. A little bit of leg. Not too short. Last one we cut too short. We're going to cut this one up here. We'll give it a little bit of leg, leg room here. Yeah, give this one a bit of leg room because this one's going to go. So which way are we bending it? Plus is to the left. So it's definitely going to go this way then. Just like so. See what I'm doing here, guys? And bringing it forward like so. And I'm going to be... This. This. All right, let's... We got our solder ready down there. And we got this ready to go. I set it up here already ready I like to I like to push it down and kind of pretend it's gonna go on so I could get the feeling of um... oh I can't get the, the 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 okay so this one's gonna have to be put in on okay it's gonna be have to be done with my hand because there's no way I could get the 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 uh, the locks, the, not the lock, not the channel locks, but the, um, vice grips in there. So I'm going to try and do this with this very tight space. I think I could get this in here. It's really, really tight. I got it. Man, I got it. I think I burnt the plastic too a bit from that connector, whatever that plug is for. I'm gonna have to spread that leg just a bit more because what's happening is it's a little bit. There we go, we got it now. I see it. It's just too much glare. That's the problem is there's too much glare from the light, but I see it right now. Yeah, we got it. She's in there. I'm gonna put a little dab of. Uh, this is a bigger capacitor, so I'm gonna put a little bit of dab of spit in there you see it right there i'm going to put a little dab of spit in there just to give it a little bit more just a tad more reinforcement that's a big boy and it's got a bit of weight on it it's hot i don't know what i don't know what hit me there but something hit me hot hit it hot there we go nice and dry there we go i feel more confident in there let me just open up the solder a bit more. Okay, let me try this again. Let me just heat this up here. Oh, man. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, I got the solder stuck in there. Shoot. Okay, here we go. There we go, man. That thing's in there now for life. Just take that out now. If I have to replace that capacitor later, that's going to be a little bit of a... That's solid. It won't even wiggle now. These ones slightly wiggled because they got longer legs. So, I'm going to have to plug in my... It looks like my phone is out of juice. 
So I'm going to plug her in here real quick. All right. Let me move my project a little bit further here. So I lots of crap on this table. All right. And we got ourselves left. What do we got left here? We got two more capacitors to do. Here they are. Here they are right here. The 4.735 and the 2263. Right here, last two capacitors on the board. I did them all. All right, so let me get my trusty magnifying glass. We'll do them one at a time. So it's 4.733. Okay, this one is this one, 4.7, so. Oh, we're gonna take her, where she is. She just popped right off. Man, there was nothing holding this in. The solder's old on this one. That was a really bad connection there. It could, that's probably why it didn't even turn on, was because uh, this had no connection. There's even no solder in there, guys. I'll even lift this up to show you. Like, there's nothing in there, right there. The one to the left, right there. There's like nothing holding that in. All right, let's see if I could identify the positive side. I am not seeing anything so far. I am not seeing any any indication which way the positive side is because there's a lot of corrosion in it. It looks like acid of some sorts. I'm going to dump some, flip it over. We can get this at least cleaned so we know which side the positive is facing. I am not seeing any indication so far which way the positive is. I don't have an indicator, guys. There's nothing. Ah, uh, there it is. There it is. It's under here. There it is. I'll get it for you guys. So you guys could see here. Sorry, I got one working under a wire here. Let me go real quick here before it dries so I could see if I could. There it is. There's a the positive right there to the left. You can barely see that positiveness, but it's there to the left. And this is a pretty big capacitor for it to have the legs spread that wide. If you look there, one and two, look how wide they are. They're even wider than the bigger ones. And I'm getting that sticky feeling again of citrus feeling of like, um, of, um, like juice, orange juice of some sorts. Let's build on this damn thing. All right. So let's bend her down. So just take your time with this, guys. There's no rush with this at all. If there's a rush, then you shouldn't be doing this. The positive is to the left. Okay. So negative is to the right. So I got it already in my hand the right way. So again, we're going to do the same thing like we did. Kapui and Kaplui. Okay. Oh no. Uh, see that red? That, sorry, that gold? I got some bad news, guys. We can't put this capacitor in this way. Because we can't touch that capa- We can't touch that. So the plus is on this side. So we will... So we're gonna have to turn the pins over, guys. All right, so we're gonna turn the pins back over because it will touch that gold piece and that's where the button goes. And we don't want any problems putting this back together. We want this thing to snap together easy. Last thing we need is drama. 
Mm, all right, so she's going to go like this. If the plus is on that side, negative should be to my right. And she will sit like that there. There's no other way to do it. Because that's going to block that. There's nothing under there. So we could go ahead and sit her down just like that. Just like so. All right, so let me drop this. Drop the needle. Drop the needle. All right, so let's get to work here. Let's see if we get these legs out of here. Come on, old legs. Where are you, old legs? That one doesn't have anything. And surprisingly, this one has nothing. And it's no surprise because you saw the condition of that capacitor when I did pull it out. Look at this one. Look. Look, it just moves around. It's not even in there, like, properly. They must have been, had a cutback on solder on the on the uh, assembly line. They cut back on the solder usage to make these things cheaper, I guess, at one point. I'm being sarcastic with that, guys. I, I could never tell you that. I could never know that. All right, so this one here, you could barely see it smoked out. There it goes. Okay, see, just like that. Nice, fresh, new contacts, ready to go. So we're going to take her backwards, guys. Yeah, we are taking her backwards. It's almost like it was designed to go that way, and then almost in the factory, in the last, the last minute, they made a decision to actually throw it in the other way for some reason or some technical reason of some sorts because it fits perfectly this way. But I guess they had to cut back on the capacitor size, I think. And that's why you have these really cheap capacitors. And I don't know why Sega would do it, because Sega was always, always premium, top-notch stuff, you know, when Sega made their stuff, right? All right, I'm going to try and do this by hand, because I'm having a tough time doing it like that. Let me put it in a position where I could handle it. Let's give this a little bit here. The legs are a little bit long. I might have to trim them down, but it's not necessary. It's going to look nice and professional when it's done. There it goes. One, and that leg needs to... I could push in the soldering iron. I could push the leg in with the soldering iron, then bring it down and slide it down, just like so. Solder it in. There it goes. It's a little bit crooked. Let me just... Push it back, straighten it out. There we go. We're good. <gasps> no, I had it perfectly. There we go. We're good. We're good. We have it. We're going. We're putting this one backwards because we need to clear that for buttons on that side. Okay. Well, it looks like it's in there, nice and tight. And we have this one that's last, and that is. Let me just check my magnifying glass. Because the numbers are so tiny, you could barely see what you're looking at here. All right, here we go. Last one. I found it. It was the one I chose earlier. All right. I don't know which way the positive or negative is on this one. Might be the same as the other one next to it. You never know with, uh, with you know, you just never know. All right. Oh, 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 oh okay, okay. So the, the legs are backwards. So this one is different. So this one's opposite of the way it was. the other one was loaded, even though they're beside each other. I just noticed that. All right, here she comes, singing Monet, Monet. This one was connected a lot better. I could see the plus. It's a lot cleaner. This one was just an absolute uh, Monet, Monet. Right. Let's clean the legs. This one, I can see the legs perfectly. That's one leg right there. One. Let's see it there on the soldering iron. One. This one, this one was connected a lot, a lot, a lot better. Right, we got no connection there. We got little to no solder on there. I'm going to wipe down my iron here. I'm going to go ahead and feed this puppy here before I forget where the connectors are. It's so bad. So let's put in a new... Oh, 
we got nothing out of that. No, it's on the iron. Hold on. Sometimes the solder sticks to the iron. Very common. There it goes. Just fried itself on there. Again, it's stuck to the iron. It happens often. More often than you could imagine. Got to clean. I, I, I got something on another contact here. Let me just... Let me just remove it here. Okay, yeah. Yeah, I got accidentally got something on another contact. I hope that doesn't affect the system. But it looks like I cleared it from the old. It happens sometimes where you kind of touch another um, area of the board. You can't help it because everything's so compact. There we go. Two nice connectors right there. The other one got cleared a bit. I cleared it off a bit. So that's it. This is the last capacitor to put in on the main board. And we can see if this puppy turns on. It's easy to assemble. It's not a hard system to assemble, guys. So don't, like, nobody panic. Then I'll replace the screen if it works. If the sound doesn't work, I'll take it back apart and take the soundboard apart. And, uh, which is not too hard. I did that one. The soundboard, I felt, was a little bit easier to do than this one. Even though every video I watched, they said the soundboard was the hardest to do. But I didn't think so, but... Alright, let's find the positive and the negative here. And my kid's playing in the hallway there. I might do this service one day if I get really good at it. I do 10 more of these things. And start doing them for people. And then mailing them back their old burnt capacitors. So they could see them for themselves. How bad some of these things are. Okay, I think we're going to have the same problem. Yep, it's going to block that one. Okay, so we're going to have to turn the capacitor around. So that's negative, that's positive. So we're going to have to turn the pins. Like, so see what I'm doing here? I'm going to turn the pins back around. Because it won't work the way it is. Okay, so we're going to have to put it backwards. It just doesn't fit that way. And it might not even fit this way. And I checked, quadruple checked, that is the right capacitor for that one because the space is just at a premium here. Look at that. So let me see if I could bend Buddy over here over a bit. Yeah, just like so. And if this one could fit near beside it, would be nice. like so see if I could get her in here I could get the legs on there but I don't know how nicely sitting this thing is to be honest with you Yeah, I'm having a tough time, guys. This is right next to the uh, other capacitor there. I could shorten the legs on it and give it a different... Uh, if I wanted to, I could do that. More of a custom, riskier... This is the only voltage capacitor I have. So, if I, of, that, of this specific make. And if I screw this up, I'm, I'm out of, the capa of, of this capacitor. I'll have to order it back in. I just want to do this and kind of get it done, right? Yeah, there's no way to put it back the way it was. The original way is not going to fly. All right, let's back her up a bit. Back her up. Okay. Okay, I think I got it.
All right, let me see if I could. Yeah, I think I could Mickey Mouse it in here. Look at that. I think I could do it. Wish I had a camera crew to film this properly. No, it's too much. Gotta get it like perfect right over here with the teeth with its little legs to Okay, we got a little bit right there. I have to cross over my hand. And of course the power doesn't reach. Oh damn. I had that set up nicely. But of course the power does not reach, the power plug for the soldering iron does not reach the location. And there's a little things you gotta kind of put up with, but it's okay. It's, it's a learning experience, guys. Always take life, everything life has to offer as a, as a learning experience. Here we go, let's try it from this side now. It's a really tough, a tough one to put in, but it just, just gotta be really patient with it. All right, I think I got it again here. Okay, let's see if I can get this. Yeah, I got it. Yeah, it's not that bad. Got it. Yeah, it's not going anywhere. Neither is that one. All right, I changed all the capacitors here. So this was a basket case. So let's find out if we got all the screws here to put this back together now. So this was an absolute basket case. So we it didn't turn on and I got it in parts. It said that the sorry that the um that it doesn't turn on, right? Fair enough, it doesn't turn on. But I got it in pieces. But all the capacitors are changed to their respectable voltage slash amperage slash whatever they belong. Yeah, it should work. So, should be okay. So let's cross our fingers here. And if the power, the uh, sound, usually the sound doesn't work, it's this guy right here. We gotta take this apart. That's not hard at all. But I just wanna see if I can get it turned on. So, let's... Right, let's get our screen. So we got our screen semi-off. Remember I pushed it out to show you guys? Remember how I pushed this out to show you guys how the screen is pretty, pretty damaged on this. But So you're going to put the sound. I saw this in a video. It made a lot of sense. You put the sound in there, the little dial. Okay, and then it's just let it sit right down. There you go. So the capacitors we put that were offset or on a different location than they should be are sitting nice. So I'm not too worried. Power power wire here goes around the top. Oops, I got it covered. So let's take it back out and bring her like this. It's got to go around that screw there here, the screw there. So it's got to go around. Okay, done, done. Sitting in there, there it is, screen. You can tell it's flush when it sits in there. It's just really easy for it to, for you to figure this out. So remember, it was a basket case. Let's see if we have all the screws. I think we have. Is this thing even sitting right? Hold on a sec here. Feels like it's offset for a reason. Oh, okay, I think I know why it's offset. It's not that, it's not that. Got it. I got it in. Okay. It just dropped in. Hey, Antonio. How you doing? All right. I just had my kids walk in and spend some time with me. And that's about, that's part of being a family guy. All right. All capacitors are replaced. Every single one of them. Now let's find our screws. Let's find out what screws aren't damaged or ruined or anything. Some of these screws, the heads are ruined because I think the person that opened this before me, 
Let's see if we can find a new head in here. So always get one of these kits, guys, especially if you're going to be working on these regularly. If you're not, then you could find stuff at the dollar store for this. Yeah, I'll show you. Papa, really nice, interchangeable, quick to use, easy to find your bit. It's transparent, just like so. Cha cha. And we're going to put our screws back in here. Just trying to adjust the camera to best as possible just so you guys could kind of see what I'm doing here. So we got two longer gold screws. I'm going to see where those go. Oh, I just completely, completely forgot something. I forgot the buttons. That would have been a really bad thing. So see, this is live, unscripted. So let's do this. Button one. Wait, these are these are really dirty, guys. Let's wipe them down a bit. I think, like I said, they got orange juice or something on them. Or... I thought I had that already. Huh. Okay. Oh, okay, there's a thick, a thick. So these are really dummy proof. These are very dummy proof. These buttons, guys. They have a thick and a thin um, wedge on them. So you can't get them wrong, no matter what. Even if you want to put them in wrong, you can't. It won't let you. Okay, and then you have this one for the power. The power sits like that, like a half moon. And then we have this little guy here. Okay, this 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 looks like it's dummy proofed. Yeah, it's so it's so dummy proofed. It only goes in one way, just like that, just like that. And then we're gonna put this like this. You got, okay, this here has a little, a little peg on it. So you're going to follow this peg and stick it up there. Then you're going to stick this peg down here. Oh, there's a, there's a peg, but there's a hole. So you follow it just like that. See that peg, peg, done, problem solved. Now let's put this back. It's supposed to go like little eyes. You're looking at you. There it is. This, these, these look like they've been replaced. These, these look like they're aftermarket to be really honest with you. This does not look like original, these little rubber things. I think someone tried taking it apart and, and bum around with this for a bit, and I think they screwed it up or did something with it because it never turned on. All right, screen. <sighs> Let's clean the screen at least so it doesn't look. I got a, I got a cloth here for the screen. No, I'm not going to use my shirt. I'm going to wipe it down later properly if it works. I'm going to change the screen. So this goes in here. Remember the audio? Remember the audio sticks in there just like so? And drop it down. Drop it like a dog. Drop it like a... Oh, that's perfect. 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 You got to... What you, what you do is, without using the capacitors to move it around, just, just slide it around back and forth with your thumbs. Do not touch the capacitors when doing this, please. And I'm still not fully lined up, guys. I never took it apart originally. It came in pieces, so... Oh, I know what it is again. It's this thing. It's this power thing up top. This thing up top here. There we go. We got it perfect lined up. Perfectly lined up. Touch the buttons. And they work. All right. Let's put the screws back in like, like I did originally. Well, like they were taken out originally. Sorry. Because I didn't put them in ever. So, it's a basket case. Came in a pile of parts all right just like so you don't have to reef them on just nice and easy let's put the wire under there i'll put this wire around it later just like see there put the wire around it later all right okay i know that goes there this guy goes here on this corner just like so Okay, and then this guy goes back up here, just like so. Okay, this guy goes here, just like so. This guy goes, I think the logger gold screw goes up on that corner there because it's a little bit of a ledge. I just realized that, but oh well, I already put the, the other gold screw at the other side there. It's okay. Just note to self, the longer of the smaller gold screws, there's a big fat one, and that one's different. I'm going to show you guys where those ones go. 
All right, just like so. See? Ba, 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 ba. There we go. And the buttons should... Oh, buttons feel good. All right, and... Where else? Hey, put all these screws back where they belong. The buttons are going to work great. I think there's one that goes in there. I don't know. I don't think so. Yes, there is. There you go. I have one left over. And I'm not seeing where she goes, guys. Because I didn't take this apart, but... <sighs> screen is on there. One and two on the corners. The two upper... And then the two on the side. There's no one in the middle. So I am gonna... Nothing goes there. I'm gonna hold on to this one screw. I'm not sure if there's nowhere else it could go from what I'm kind of perceiving here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, so I'm gonna leave this one aside for now. Then the two big monster screws go here. Two big monster gold screws. Go here. This might turn on and might not turn off. I don't know, guys. I don't know the condition. I don't know what was wrong with it originally. So, okay, this one brings everything down. Look at that. You screw this down, it brings the whole board down into place. That, that's what pe pretty much keeps the screen in alignment here. Wow, look how dirty that is. Wow, that's my bad, but I'm going to replace that screen anyway, so... If I get this damn thing working. All right, what's next, guys? We got that, 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 that. Now let's plug her back in. Hopefully everything's here. So I'm going to bring this up here for you guys to see. All right. So uh, this will go here. Just like so one. I like having this wire nice and tucked in here. Okay, then this guy for the sound. Is the sound, the soundboard here. And then we're gonna lastly plug in the power. It looks like it gets a bent clips here. It looks like somebody had, had a fight with this thing from what I see here. Just like so. All right, we're gonna kind of Put her in like this. Okay. We've got some corrosion here in the battery, so I'm not too worried about that. That's not gonna stop it from working. Now this thing's not. Uh... All I'm just trying to see if it's hitting the capacitors or it's not. No, it's not hitting the capacitors though. I wonder why, because I, I remember we had a problem with those capacitors, replacing them into the right location. Well, it looks like it's coming back to haunt us. You get it, Pocahontas? All right, let's see if I can. Okay, I got it. I somewhat got it. There we go. It just snaps back in together there. Okay, it looks like it's, it's broken here. All right. So I did not take this apart originally, guys. So let's see what they screwed up on this when they took it apart originally. What they did to this. I'm not seeing anything abnormal. So, okay guys, so we're putting this together here, and okay, so I'm holding her, I'm sandwiching her together like this. Oh, yeah, we got light. Okay, let's see now. Let's see. Okay. It adjusts. All right, I'm 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 just holding it right now. See, it's, it's like it's coming up like so. Let me 
Turn her off. Okay. Let's put our... Wow, this screen is bad. Let's put this here. It's just falling apart. All right. Oh, yes. It's working. Let me adjust the... Let's see if the brightness works. Oh, it works. It works. Let's see if all the buttons work. Forward, back. You can duck. Yep, you can jump high with the up button. Okay, up works. So I know that. It works. There it is. But I'm noticing something. There's no audio. And this is what the other game gear here, this game gear, this other one that I fixed, that I tested it in. I got it working. And you know what happened? The audio was this the um audio was the same. You could hear it. Listen. I'm not sure if you could hear that, but it it does work, but it's very dim. So I'm gonna do a part two for this series. And I'm going to um no, I'm gonna take this back apart. And I'm gonna do a part two on this series. So the game actually holds the game gear together. So once you take the game out, watch this, guys. It comes right apart. So, there it is right there. Okay, so we're going to do a part two and do the sound capacitor on uh, capacitors. The sound capacitor, the sound board. I'm going to fix that right now. Thanks for watching, guys. And uh, look forward to, I uh, hope you guys uh, take a time and uh, watch part two. Hey, this is Mike Martins from The Handheld Junkie. Please like, subscribe, and share this video to support our transmission. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate the support. Look forward to reading your comments below. And comment below if there's a specific handheld game you want me to review. Thanks for watching.